to 19 volt power rail as you can see. Here we will get 19 volt. From here, the 19 volt will be distributed. Here we have C10 for a 6, C10 for a 7, C10 for a 6, C10 for a 7. We have inductor. This is basically inductor L3, as you can see. Over here we have into schematic L3. Pad 1, here we have pad 1. So here you can check whether you get 5 volt or not. This is at this point. So here we have C21. This is basically electrolytic capacitor. Here also we have C21. So its value is 220 microfarad, 6.3 volts. Hi uh, again. So we gonna continue our course. So basically we have seen in the previous parts, we have seen part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4 and part 5. So in this part I'm going to show you exactly how to test, how to check 3 volt and 5 volt circuit using the multimeter and how to check whether we have the right voltage or not. So let's get started. So in the previous lectures we have seen that this is basically the 3 volt 5 volt circuit as you can see over here this is the first channel for 3 volt channel and over here we have 5 volt channel so we have seen that this is the ic the controller the 3 volt 5 volt controller ic its reference is tps 51120 and or reference designator and the reference in the motherboard as you can see is u6 okay so for every for every channel we have inductor capacitor mosfets inductor capacitor so the mosfets in the back of the motherboard and of course we have ceramic capacitors so we have seen that this control ic controls the two MOSFETs in order to get the 3 volts here and also the same for 5 volts. So let's continue right now and check using the multimeter 3 volt and 5 volt. So we're gonna first plug the adapter as you can see because to check whether you get 3 volt and 5 volt you should of course plug the adapter. So of course we're gonna put to check 3 volt and 5 volts in the motherboard we gonna put the multimeter to 20 volts here so we have dc volts over here and this is ec voltage so we're gonna choose the dc volt 20 volts so if we want for example just to measure 1 volt or 0 0.5 volt we gonna use this one if we get we want to Major using the multimeter more than 20 volt, for example, 2C volt or 28 volt, we should use 100. Okay, so this is the motherboard as you can see. So here we have ground everywhere in the motherboard as you can see. So the first thing is to put the black probe into ground and then check using the red probe of the multimeter, the 3 volts circuit or channel and 5 volt circuit so of course we are gonna use inductors as you can see so here as you can see the 5 volt is missing so let's check the 3 volt channel the inductor first we get 0 volt in the multimeter means the 3 volt and 5 volts are missing so because we 3 volt and 5 volt are missing we should check the input Okay, whether we have 19 volt or not, as you can see here. Okay, we get 19 volt. We have 19 volt means the 19 volts power rail is good. So because we, we get 19 volt, we should basically find 5 volt and 3 volt. So here in the schematic, okay, as you can see here, so this is basically the 3 volt channel. Okay, here basically we have the input voltage, we have 19 volt. Here we have two MOSFETs, here we have the IC, okay? And this is the inductor and capacitors for filtering purposes. And over here we will get 3 volt. Here we have the pad where we can check 
whether we get the result or not. So let's see an animation basically. Here we have the input 19 volt will pass through this MOSFET. We will get here 3 volt as you can see. So let's see. So the same for the 5 volt channel. Basically here we have 5 volt channel. Here we have 19 volt. It will be applied to this MOSFET. We're gonna get here 5 volt. So for 5 volt channel, as you can see, we have two ceramic capacitors here. Basically, the ceramic capacitors uh, has the purpose of eliminating the noise in the circuit. Then we have the MOSFET, as you can see. This is the first MOSFET or the high MOSFET. So as you can see here, we have inductor. This is basically inductor L3, as you can see. Over here, we have in the schematic L3, okay? Do you see here the cell capacitor C22? Here in the schematic we have C22. Do you see here the pad? Pad 1. Here we have pad 1. So here you can check whether you get 5 volt or not. This is at this point. So here we have C21. This is basically electrolytic capacitor. Here also we have C21. So its value is 220 microfarad, 6.3 volts. Do you see in the back of the circuit, as, you, as I told you before, we have the MOSFET, as you can see, okay, and two cell capacitors. We have Q1009, Q1010. Do you see Q1009, okay, here we have Q1009, we have Q1010, Q1010. This is two MOSFETs, basically that has the purpose to generate 5 volt, as you can see over here. And we have two cell capacitors here, we have C1046, C1047, C1046, C1047. This is basically two cell capacitors that has the purpose to eliminate the noise in the circuit. Do you see? Here, the two capacitors are connected to the drain of the first MOSFET. Do you see here? So where is the drain? Here we have the drain of this MOSFET, as you can see here, and we have two cell capacitors connected to the drain of this MOSFET, exactly like this. And over here we have the ground. All these are ground, as you can see. Also the source of the second MOSFET here is connected to the ground, as you can see. Do you see here the gate? The gate, as you can see, is connected to the IC. Here we have a T line means here we have the control signal. So here once we connect to this jack, let's check these ceramic capacitors. Normally we should get 19 volt. So 19 volt is missing as you can see. Okay? So 19 volt is missing. If we check the drain of this MOSFET as you can see, also 19 volt is missing. So means we have a problem in the 3 volt, 5 volt circuit. The 19 volt is missing. So we should track first 19 volt. Why 19 volt is missing? So now we're gonna track basically the 19 volt from the DC power jack until, as you can see, the DC 3 volt and 5 volts. So here basically we have the circuit diagram or the power, the 19 volt power rail as you can see. So this is the, the 19 volt power rail. So here basically we have switches, 19 volt as you can see. Here we will get 19 volt. From here the 19 volt will be distributed to the whole motherboard. Okay? Basically to all circuit in the motherboard. Here, the plus V bat 19 volt is missing, means we have problems somewhere in the input components near to the DC jack. So let's check, of course, first we're gonna put the red probe or the black probe in the ground and check 19 volt. Here we have 19 volts in the first ceramic capacitors. So let's check, as you can see here, we check this ceramic capacitors, as you can see, into circuit diagram let's check the inductor we get 19 volt so here we have 19 volt let's go to this MOSFET basically if we check this if we check the source we should get 19 volt as you can see we get 19 volt 
okay 19 volts is here now we should find 19 volts in the drain okay we should find 19 volt in the drain so let's check the drain no 19 volt is missing over here means we have problem with this as you can see mosfet this mosfet could be the failed mosfet okay so this one could be failed or we have short circuit somewhere here in the compound that that are connected to the drain so guys as i told you we find the problem here so we have over here two states so because 19 volt doesn't pass to this side means this mosfet could be the failed component okay this mosfet could be failed or we have problem here means we have short circuit somewhere in components that are connected to the drain of this MOSFET okay so we're gonna continue in the next video our troubleshooting so thank you very much and please don't forget to like the video subscribe and share the video and for anyone who want to join me in my Patreon page you are very welcome thank you very much and see you in the next video